Good morning everybody. <laughs> well, it is currently 13 minutes past four in the morning on a Saturday because your gal has to get showered, wash her hair and get a train at 6.52 in the morning because I have to get the bus down to Manchester at 8.25. The things I do for this little band, like, oh my god, um, yeah, I never got to sleep, I've only had three hours sleep so far, so I'm really, just ignored the wall there, my dad had to, I think he discon they had to disconnect the radiator because they were, um, taking it off of there, sorry, the guinea pigs are in the downstairs, um, and he had to like replaster the wall, so like still in the process of decorating, so please just ignore that. But yes, there's a fudge. Fudgy, are you saying hi? Barney, are you saying hi? Barney. Hi, baby. So yes, um, our neighbours across the road are coming to look after the guinea pigs for us, so that is great. So that's why they're down here. I just cleaned their poops and it only took like 11 minutes. Like I woke up like at half, well before half three, so... Also, I find though that sometimes when you wake up early or you have like less sleep, sometimes you can feel more awake. So today is going to be a very unhinged day, like for sure. Like I want to show you guys these before I forget. Um, sorry, you just see my massive mega mind head. Um, but the Misery Kids stickers arrived um, and they are stunning. Like, I love them. I made them myself. Um, obviously the font I didn't make, that is Misery Kids font. Um, and the little QR code takes you to their link tree. So I did try to cut them out like this, but I was trying to do it like late at night. So then, I mean, that's a bit wonky, sorry. I still can't get used to using this. They're now like in little, as I said, doing this at night with nails. <laughs> Look how cute they are. I mean, they're pre-marked nails, but my sister Lucy helped with those. Um, so yeah, I cut up the stickers and I forgot I got this before. It's a glow stick pack. So it has like um, glow wands, headbands, bracelet, um, earrings, eyeglasses, necklaces, rings, pendants. So taking that with me because from like Glasgow and Newcastle before with the summer set, um, I keep getting cramped in my hand though. So like it's not ideal. <laughs> I was going, hold on, I was going around, sorry I was just refixing my bag and find my camera, I was like I'm going to start vlogging, um, what time is it, okay, it's, we're, we're still fine for time, um, I found them again, I was like oh my god I'm going to take those because the headband in it looks really like brawny vibe, so I was like we have to take it, so I've like sorted the guinea pigs poops and I'm going to have to redo them again though because I've done it kind of early, so and then I'm going to empty all the, the wasteful hay into the bin. But I'm going to go get ready and I'll see you guys soon. I don't know why this thing wasn't working, but I made it into Edinburgh and I wasn't going to get my camera out at the time because I felt awkward and I was just like, oh, it's just kind of awkward, so I'm going to go now. I'm kind of tired already. Okay, bye. Edinburgh's so pretty when it's like light and well, it's pretty in general, to be honest, but it's like so nice and you can see the water in the distance. I can't even zoom in because I'm holding the suitcase, but it's so pretty.
We made it. I have to catch you guys up when I get back because I don't have time. We actually have to leave because we're kind of late. Um, but this is the outfit. Got the misery kids. Oh my god, my hair's so long. Top. Our room's a mess. We have to leave like right now basically. So it's a fun time. But I thought I'd check in. I got stranded on the bus for five hours. It broke down. But I'll fill you guys in. But we're ready for misery kids. Also, I forgot I did show you actually. But yes, we have to go now. Bye. I did not flash you. I meant to go over that way and forgot she was getting changed and I was like, I can't flash my sister to the internet. That would be fucking awful of me. I just look really I look <laughs> I look like Casper the fucking ghost though with his light in. Bro's Casper and Voldemort. I got me burning up when I'm close to you. Whoa uh oh. I hear I'm so fucking pissed off, right? The Uber driver dropped us off at the wrong fucking place, right? We missed three fucking songs. We missed I Love The Taste. We missed I Love The Taste. We missed Strays. And we missed Without You. We missed those three fucking songs. And I'm so mad. And I'm like, oh, I wish I shut the fuck up. We missed, those three, we missed those three songs. What? I'm trying to take my boots off, but try not to be aggressive. I don't, why do I look pale? What? What? Oh, your bag's ripped. 
Aber ist so you got me this bag. That's fine. It's okay. Oh. It's got sloth on it. It has sloth on it. Yeah, I don't usually drink at concerts, but to, I felt so socially awkward, so I was like, awesome. vodkas all round. <laughs> and then Molly got a vodka Red Bull. Was it like the watermelon one? And it was up? so strong. And I was like, Pfft. she had to ask her Discord server to see if my idea was valid or not. Did she actually? Yeah, she no, she didn't. Her Stop it. That's so fucking funny that the barmaid actually turned around and was like, I have to ask my Discord. Did she no, just. She was, she was like, I need to ask these people. And I look over and she's just typing on <laughs> Discord. <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so chaotic? <laughs> we bring the chaos to the Misery Kids Street team. But it's no, no, I actually have secondhand embarrassment because, like, I turned around to speak to Molly and she had Brawny next to her and I just was like, ah! <laughs> Like, I fucking screamed. Yeah, sorry, there's people. There was, like, literally. It was in on my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was in on my dog. <laughs> oh my god. My dog. Oh, it smells like Nathan's house. What? Molly's out. <laughs> But no, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. yeah, like I feel bad. I just turned and it was like, ah, I just like screamed because I saw Brawny. She was so fucking good. Like I need to borrow some of Molly's footage if she likes me for the vlog because she sang I Kissed the Girl and I didn't even record any of it. I got so fucking excited because I was like living my best life, obviously, because I've also kissed the girl and I liked it. So, yeah. <laughs> is what it is. I forgot I opened this beforehand. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say video, but that's the thing. <laughs> what is happening? I'm so fucking confused. But yeah, we had the best fucking time. Like, it was so nice catching up with the guys. I'm just so pissed that we missed three of the songs, but we were still there and we still got to hang out with them. And look, I got a Mr. Kiss hoodie finally. <laughs> and Molly got a pink one. <laughs> I decided to switch up and be the, the goth of the family again. Mostly. What is it? Okay, Lucy. She's more emo. But Lucy and Mama and Dad have to come to show soon. But did you guys see my earrings? They give off a um, find that rhythm vibes and just misery kids vibes in general. Ooh, but like honestly, it's just so good to see the guys again. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm a little bit tipsy. We it's went like to jam. <laughs> jam. Jam. It tastes like jam. No, I was annoying her because, like, literally, when we were outside, what did I keep doing to you? Was That's it? Nice. Was this, like Is it? Yeah. Was it? Was I kept singing "Turn Off the Lights"? Yeah. I kept singing "Turn Off the Lights." I'm just glad we fucking saw "Turn Off the Lights." I fucking love that song. It's iconic. No yeah. fucking shit, Cheryl. You're a loser. I know. I'm kidding, she's not. But it was so nice. I wish I recorded Alexi's reaction and all the members' reaction to um the stickers that we made. Um because Alex was like <gasps> when he saw the link tree and it was so freaking cute and I was like I love it. I love it so much. Like the fact that he was so like happy that that happened and oh my god, right, this guy came up to him and was like, So are you on Apple Music? And I was like, Well if you scan this sticker, you'll get it. I was so proud of myself because you know your gal your gal over here is an anxious mess and I was like I would never have done that. But I had some um liquid courage for that. I don't I never drink at concerts, but I felt so out of not out of place, but I don't know, I just because I had such a bad day because story time, I didn't really delve into this. <laughs> so we tra well, I travelled from Edinburgh. I've been awake since fucking three twenty two this morning. I get the bus at 8.25. No, the train at 8.25. What? No, I got the bus. No, the train. Not the oh bus. The train at um, 6.52. The train was delayed by like eight minutes, okay? Like, it was delayed. So I'm delayed and I'm like, oh, great. Like, please don't let it affect the rest of the day. <gasps> Pardon me. I get the bus and everything's okay for the most part. Then we get on the M6. The bus starts, oh, sorry I have the hiccups, the bus starts becoming very sluggish. Then what happens, we pull over to the hard shoulder and we are literally one hour and 30 minutes away from Manchester and I have to wait almost five hours for a replacement bus. And when I tell you the frustration, like we came into a hotel, we checked in and I was like, we're having the quickest, like quick fresh up shower 
get ready with me, like fucking whole thing together, like we're getting out of here. And we were on time for Misery Kids set. The Uber driver dropped us off, not even fucking near the venue. So we missed three songs. We missed Strays, I Love the Taste, and Without You. Because we've discovered that they actually didn't play All or Nothing for a while. Because I actually asked them and they said they haven't. Because mm-hmm. we were actually having a debate. Like I was like, we've never heard that song live. And Molly's like, yeah, we have. And I'm like, no, we haven't. So there you go. We haven't. He's like, we've not played that in a while. You're going to have to play it when you come back like and do like a UK tour or something because, well, you don't have a lot of songs, so you have to play it. <laughs> that mean that in the nicest way possible. Um, but it was just so nice to like see the guys again. And I actually got like pictures with them and it was so good. Um, so it was actually worth it and Bronnie was fucking amazing. Like, I actually really love her. So thanks, Misery Kids, for introducing me to Bronnie because she's really good. Um, but yeah, we ended up in Domino's, didn't we, for mm-hmm. food because we didn't know where else was open. Um, and I think the food at our hotel ended at 10. And I have cramp in my pinky and it is like really sore. Hold on. I didn't know there was like a little. I didn't even know when you got that one. I didn't even notice you got it in my bag. Oh, that's why I said it tastes like jam. Mm. But yeah, I'm in love with my new hoodie because I wanted a hoodie the last time and I didn't get one. Elsa and Melker got married? <laughs> okay. No, it's only because she posted on her story. I didn't know they were getting married soon though. They said first trip is Mr. and Mrs. How they're booked and dusted. Wait, but does that mean that they're married though? Yes. Cause, wait. Oh wait, does that mean that it's a honeymoon? Or do they just mean that they booked it? I don't it? know. <sighs> See, no. she doesn't really know. So that doesn't really help. But it was very nice to see the guys again. And to meet Nick's girlfriend. She's so nice. We love her. I think I pronounced her name wrong and I felt really bad. Lana. She's called Lena. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> Lena, Lana. And I was like, I really hope I got it right. And I don't think I did. And I feel really freaking bad for that because I don't like getting people's names wrong. Like, at all. Right, um, I'm, 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 I just, I just, I feel like I just give myself secondhand embarrassment a lot. So, mm-hmm. maybe it's better I was kind of drunk. Although, the bus company that I got on today, they, um cancelled their bus journey home so while I'm like kind of drunk I have to figure out how the fuck we're getting home so I also lost a nail because I was fucking pissed off with the Uber driver that just he was really nice as well that's why I don't understand he was really really nice and really talkative and then he just like dumped us in a place that was not near the venue Mm. and then we ended up missing three songs we still made it though that's the main thing but yeah I don't an original veggie person sure Got a Percy pig. Mm. Why did I just put that on my nose though? I don't know why I ate that because I feel sick from the pizza. Mm. 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 This is a nice pair with us. Is it? Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna go chill with this loser and figure out how we're getting home because we might be stranded in Manchester. Which is not what we really want. Like, I have work on Monday. I don't really want to be stranded here too long. Or I don't need to be. That guy was nice that we spoke to in the crowd. We were like, are you Scottish? And I was like, oh my god, I love that. I love when people just pick out and like, you're Scottish. And I'm like, that's I am. But yeah, I'm rambling. And we're gonna go to bed. Well, maybe not right away, but I'm gonna go. And I'll speak to you guys then. Good morning. I'm wearing my Misery Kids hoodie again. I did take it off before I went to bed, but like, outfit of the day, just some comfy joggers. Although I'm glad this is as long, because I forgot that this, um, the these ties dyed it so I'm like I forgot and I packed these and I only have these so I was like well so yeah there's that I'm gonna it 
I always think, because on here it looks like it goes upside down when I lift it, but it actually doesn't on the thing. But this is our view, by the way. Forgot to show you our lovely view of Manchester. <laughs> but it's <laughs> not really a, a view. Um, but yeah, we are awake. It is currently. I don't know why this keeps happening though. Like, it keeps saying your story hasn't finished update uploading, but it's 10 26. Um, we are about to leave. We're gonna go look for some food. We think we're gonna get an to Gales because I still really want to try Gales because we've never got to try it on the way here. Um, and then we're gonna maybe go, we're gonna go to maybe get some snacks for the train now we're getting the train. Bless. Poor, poor grandma phoning us making sure we were getting home okay and she was like I'll help it's fine so bless. The grandmas are literally like or just grandparents in general are literally like so freaking precious so protect all the grandparents at all costs. Um, we only have one left. I know we only have one left that's so sad so we have to protect Pauline with our whole lives. <laughs> We need to protect Senga. <laughs> she'll probably like not be, not kill us, but she'll be like, really, do you don't have to put it on the internet because it's an inside joke. Because um, our my grandma's middle name is Agnes, and <laughs> our papa used to wind her up all the time and call her Senga because it's obviously Angus, Angus, Agnes backwards, and um, he would randomly go up to me like Senga, you're not stealing again, are you? And she'd be like, oh, shut. <laughs> And then sometimes we call her Senga the seagull, so, you know, just got to keep her on her toes since Papa's not here to do that no more with the Senga part. <laughs> She's probably like, great. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go get some food. We'll take you guys, obviously, on the journey. I feel like I'm getting better at knowing how to hold and look at this, so that's always a bonus. Um, I didn't expect to actually get alcohol yesterday at the concert because I don't usually drink at concerts but oh my god when I tell you after the disaster that was yesterday I literally was so anxious I was like get me a vodka and coke ASAP because your gal is like I could feel myself when the music was on like you know when you're so anxious and you like because I couldn't I didn't know where you I didn't know where she went and I kept looking for her because I was like my safety person is gone I don't really know anybody else here we're in a new like a new place I was like ah, ah, my eyes were like darting about I was like yep gonna get a drink not that you, I need a drink to like feel normal like, it's not I don't have a drinking problem but like <laughs> I was like because after a few I was like I was sorted but um I woke up with the worst cramp in my leg, but it was like my calf, my like lower, well I think your calf is the lower part of your leg anyway, but um, and my calf like literally, I kept waking up with cramp in the bottom of my leg, and do you know when it like starts to go into your foot but not fully, because the girl was dehydrated, but I'm going to stop rambling because we need to get an Uber, Um, that's the only problem with this place is that you just get Ubers all the time, so I'm like, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just going to get an Uber, and still really mad that guy was so nice and he was so friendly and talkative and he was really mad for me that I was stranded on a bus and then he drops us off at the wrong place and I'm having a meltdown being like we're missing their set get us their ASAP but the bonus about Manchester though is that there's like literally Ubers within minutes like you, you could just book that Uber and that Uber is there within a few minutes and it's like pretty awesome so that is a bonus um but yeah I can't believe we didn't get to do much yesterday and now we're like, oh, just literally slept and now go in. Hi, you're in frame. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> She's just like so dead. I haven't slept properly in two days. Yep, she hasn't slept properly in two days, so yeah, there's that. I'm going to stop rambling because I'm really hungry. I like barely ate yesterday, so when we got a Domino's, like, oh. Good morning, hope you slept okay. And he reacted to my message but didn't message me back. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 yeah, it was the victim that she showed me the thing, the inside joke that they have, and now I'm like, I get it now because I was like, What are you doing? I don't get it, and now I'm just like, Brother, ew. Nothing. apparently, it's her thing. Also, she got a set list. I'm so sad by yeah, that because Lena gave it to me. Yeah, I still feel like I said her name wrong. This is why I don't drink at concerts because when I'm like, because I was already anxious, like, and I was like, I had a few drinks to calm my nerves, I become really unaware of things. Like, 
and I've become even more forgetful than normal because you wanted a picture with all of us with the guys and then I think I don't know what happened but I think someone started talking to me or asked me to take a photo of them and then I was like okay and then I completely forgot that we wanted a picture and I was like I feel like an absolute terrible sister it wasn't done intentionally though and I was like shit but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna go and get some food and some snacks for the train and please pray that the train goes a lot fucking better than yesterday with the bus complaining to that company also because what the actual fuck was that <laughs> but yes yeah. see you soon Hello, so I have gone to edit, I'm trying to edit my video and I realised I haven't ended the vlog so as you can see it's a few days after we got home, it's actually Tuesday night at like 9pm and yeah, <laughs> I hadn't ended the vlog at all. Oh, there's the guinea <laughs> pigs. Um, but yes, so we are back from Manchester, as you can tell I'm back in my own room. Um, it was such a chaotic but good trip at the same time. Like, despite the fact that oh, I got, well, I got stranded on the M6. Molly was stranded in Manchester with no me to help her. Um, stranded at the train station or something. I think it was the train station she was at. Um, and then, yeah, we just... It was then we had like the gig and everything was fine there apart from the fact that we missed three songs and I love the taste of one and I think I might have already said that but it's been a few days I don't remember what I've already said in the vlog but um yeah like it sucks that we missed some of the songs but it was just such a good time overall um, and we obviously got the train back it was not fun how I had to sit but we didn't get back too late it was maybe about like 6 p.m or whatever but it was really good um, and it is worth it every time we get to see the boys and Bronnie was really really good live like I didn't know that she'd done a cover of I Kissed a Girl because I just listened to her new album because it was I think I had listened to a couple of her older songs before as well but I hadn't realised and I listened to like quite a lot of her disog discography I think that's the right way to say it on the bus down so that I like knew some of the, like the words better and that one never came up and I was like when she played it live I went off like I didn't even get a video so but my sister did so I can always insert that into the vlog um but it was just so fun like I did I just like so great <laughs> I just keep thinking like oh this is why I don't drink at gigs I really hope I didn't embarrass myself but I was so anxious that day because it was so stressful that I was like I really hope that this is normal Megan that is coming to the party do you know what I mean um but yeah I'm gonna go edit the vlog now and ow <laughs> I'm gonna edit the vlog and yeah hopefully get this out tomorrow um and if not tomorrow hopefully Thursday but aim is tomorrow if not oh I lost another nail I don't know where that went it must have pinged off somewhere I need to try and attach them but they put the same point they're kind of interfering with things I have to do so I, I don't mind they're only for the show anyway but yes I'm gonna go I'm gonna start rambling as I, you know I love to do and I'll see you guys soon